everybody, my name is Becky Fiddler here to give you another muscle functions video of the week. So this week I chose to go over the serratus posterior inferior. I've gotten a couple questions as far as where this muscle is, how it works, and what can they do to exercise it or make it better. So I hope this video is able to clear up any questions that you guys may have had or do have. So again, I will go over the location. I will try to show you where about on my body this muscle is. However, it is a deep muscle, meaning it lies underneath the other muscles that are the actual superficial muscles. So I will show you where about the origin and insertion is. However, again, I will not be able to show you the exact muscle. Okay. And then following the location, I will give you the function of the muscle and also an exercise that you can do to work this muscle. Okay, so to start off, let's go over the location so we know where we're talking about. So the serratus posterior inferior originates on the spinous processes of T10 through T12 and also L1 through L3. Okay, and then insert onto the inferior borders of ribs 9 through 12. Okay. So we're looking at pretty much like a V-shaped. If we're picturing this uh, muscle, again, this would obviously be on our backs, okay? It is more of a V-shaped, okay? So where this muscle is would actually be mid to low back. So we're looking about right around here for the origin, okay, on our spine. And then the insertion would jolt up, the muscle would actually jolt up here to the lower ribs and also up here it would make a small jolt up okay so again it's pretty much like a v-shaped okay so now that we know where the muscle is we can now apply functions to it so the function of the serratus posterior inferior is to counteract that inward pull by the diaphragm by pulling the last four ribs down and out okay so it, to actually exercise it, you would actually need to do a forced exhalation, okay? Because every time you breathe out, that muscle is actually counteracting that diaphragm pulling in the rib cage. So again, if you take a deep breath in and then breathe out, okay? And breathe out for as long and as hard as you can. So if you take a deep breath in, and then out, okay, that would be working that serratus posterior inferior. And that's pretty much the only way that I've found to actually exercise that muscle. Um, so it's not really a muscle that you can actually go in the gym and work, okay. It's actually, um, it's still an important muscle as with every other muscle. But it's not something that you're looking to actually go into the gym and work out. It may be more for meditation or yoga purposes. Um, so I hope I've answered any questions that you guys have had. If you still have some questions, please feel free to ask. And I will be willing and try to answer them. Um, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not a doctor. So if you have any pain or any injuries, please see your doctor for further information as far as that goes. Um, I, I don't even have the practice of a physical therapist, so I am a certified personal trainer and that's all I am. I help other people work muscles and I'm willing to try to educate people on how they work. Um, but again, if you have any pain or injuries in that area or in that muscle, please consult your doctor. Uh, I will not be able to answer those, but any other questions I will be willing to answer or try to answer, and if I can't answer them, I will try to direct you to the area that will be able to answer them. Also, if you have any further information on this muscle or anything that you guys would like to add, any experiences, so on and so forth, please feel free to add them in the comments. Again, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have, please hit the like button and share it with a friend or even, you know, verbal sharing is just as good. So see you guys next week for next Muscle Functions video.